Hi, this is Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and in one of our previous videos we talked about drone brood removal using the uncapping fork and we've got an opportunity here today, it's a nice sunny day and we've just found some drone brood so we thought we'd give a demonstration on how you remove it and perhaps why you remove it. So one of the um, important factors with beekeeping is keeping a good check on the varroa mite and one way that you can do that is with drone brood removal and so what we're going to do is we're going to uncap some drone brood um, try and do about a hundred cells and have a look to see how many mites we can see in the cell and that will give us a, a good percentage as to how many varroa we've found within our colony so um, let's zoom down onto the frame that we've found and we'll do some uncapping Okay, so we're going to remove some of this drone brood. We simply wiggle the fork in and then gently lift and turn it over and look for any varroa mites. Uh, this section that we've pulled out doesn't have any, so we'll just remove those from the fork and then we'll just do another section. I'll just shake the bees off again. And we're trying to get to, uh, if we can do 100 then that would be great. And here you can see that there appear to be Maybe just one varroa mite. Let's just see if we can... No. So, um, we're not seeing any varroa mite here, so we appear to be okay. We'll do one more. So again, clean of varroa mite. So that would indicate to us that this colony, in fact, does not yet have a problem with varroa mites. So we'll leave those for now and come back to you on another video and perhaps try and find another colony that has some varroa in its drone brood. Okay, so we've got a section of drone brood here. So we're gonna use the uncapping fork to check for varroa. So we push the uncapping fork in at a fairly steep angle in order to try to prise away the, the larvae. Um, typical bloke can't do two things at once, talk and remove drone brood, but here we are. Um, we've just removed that and there don't appear to be any varroa mites lingering in those cells. We'll do one more section. So we're looking to try to do around a hundred drone. Didn't get quite so many that time um, but again doesn't appear to be any mites in that section. And again, no mites there. So, although it's a fairly brutal process, it does mean that we can check for varroa mite. And the bees will clean that up and, and repair the damage that I've just done. But it means that potentially we don't have to treat for varroa unnecessarily. So I would rather check to see whether we need to treat for varroa prior to just putting treatments on regardless. So I wouldn't treat all of my colonies all of the time. It's just the ones that have the varroa mite that, uh, that I would treat. Uh, and in the summer, we tend to use mite away quick strips because it's a, a, an effective, fast treatment, only takes a week. And if we can find a colony that needs treating, um, we'll produce a video and, and upload that so you can see how, how we use that. I hope that was of some use. Um, 
please hit the like button and, and share the video. And if you want to see some more videos, please subscribe and we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching.